Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in right now for probably the most important conversation we are going to have this year, certainly for parents. Now, for many, the festive season is a time for travel, a time for relaxation, and a time around the pool or at the beach. And with these activities, many children are also exposed to situations where they can potentially be hurt or hurt themselves, and in some cases, even uh, tragically pass away. So this morning we are joined by Yolandi Baker, who is the executive director of Child Safe, a non-profit child safety organization. She joins us in studio to share some safety tips for this holiday season. And I'm sure you know better than most, uh, Yolandi, that um, the statistics are horrifying. Um, unforgivable and I, I always I can't help but think as a parent in this case I've got a young child who's learning to swim and I, I have like sleepless nights mm -hmm. about you know I extrapolate these situations and think okay what could happen potentially we go to the beach for the day what potentially could happen but why are we seeing such high rates mortality rates deaths of children during the holiday season yeah good morning Graham I, I, I completely I echo your feeling. I think millions of parents around the, the country, around the world, feel exactly the same. Um, we have to bear in mind that it's a busy time. We all want to relax. And, but the important thing is that at this stage, we need to keep in mind that children are busy. Yeah. Children have developmental stages, as you well know now. Um, your child is beginning to swim. Uh, moving beyond the house so you know the drowning and the ro potential for road traffic crashes are there um, what we do need to do is the first thing I can tell parents is keep an eye on children it is really hard because you yourself want to relax but the point is you need to keep an eye on put children. your damn phone down Put the phone down. <laughs> the parents are so distracted. Um, I work at the Red Cross Hospital and I see parents come in with children, you know, tra dragging the child behind with the eye on the phone. The important thing is we need to keep an eye on our children. And it's really difficult. Uh, as I said, we all want to relax. What I would tell parents, though, is if you are with a group of people, take... Um, uh, shifts in looking after children. Sure. It's, it's as simple as that. If you're around the be pool, conscious about it, yeah. be aware of where the, your, your children are. If you're around the pool, if you're on the beach, take turns to, to keep an eye. You literally have to keep an eye on the children all the time. You do not want to take the fun away from the children. You want them to be on, uh, in the water and, and splash around and all of that. But you have to keep your eye on them all the time. Reality is it takes 90 seconds for a child to, to drown. And if, if I can add to that, it is a silent, silent affair. There is no splashing, there are no alarm bells. If a child, if a young child falls into a swimming pool, it is literally bloop. That's, That's it, yeah. it. If you're a meter away, you won't hear it. So you really need to keep your eye on your child. Watch at all times. At all um, times. Uh, and we know the consequences are just unthinkable, it's, unfortunately. It is terrible. What are some of the, in your experience, obviously working in this space, what are some of the biggest mistakes that parents make um, when it comes to child safety, do you think? It is, when it comes to swimming, for instance, once your child has started taking swimming lessons, you think the child is more water safe, then you think, I can just leave the child and the child can just get on by themselves. Literally, you turn your back for five, uh, half a minute, and, and it can happen. Uh, the same thing happens with, with road traffic crashes. If I can just make a point around the, the issue of road traffic crashes, we should not refer to them as accidents because it, it gives... It, <laughs> it could be does, prevented, yeah. It is something that we can prevent. Uh, again, it comes to the, to the issue of keeping an eye on the child, being aware of where the child is um, at all times. This seasonal kind of spike that we see, what is the, the biggest kind of watchword do you think going into the festive season? So uh, for, for me, it is about the, the water safety and it is about safety on the road. Um, if I can, I usually, my three takeaways for people um, around road traffic crashes especially is keep an eye on the child when you are setting off to go on a journey, for instance, reduce your speed. That is, if we just reduce our speed, and this is now just focusing in on general, road traffic, yeah. in general, <laughs> reduce your speed, shave off 20 kilometers per hour off it, and it will make all the difference. If you could half it, even better. 
shave off, reduce your speed, make sure when you get into a car that the child, every child by law, has to be in a car seat, has to be strapped in, has to be restrained. Make sure every passenger is wearing a restraint. And thirdly, very importantly, is keep an eye out for pedestrians. We as drivers tend to look for other cars. We look at the traffic yeah. lights and, so and all of, of that. Those, those deaths happen as a result of road traffic crashes. The the spike that we see in children being killed on our roads. Children are on holiday like like everyone else, so there's more freedom. They come running out of everywhere. Okay, I'm going to let directions. that um, let that sink in. We're going to continue this discussion with Yolandi in just a moment. It's my feel good birthday show. Welcome back. You're live with Express as we continue a very important conversation. I don't mean to um, put instill the fear of God in you, but I want to do that because it's that kind of conversation we are talking about child safety, not just around the festive season, but all year round. But the reality is, um, Yolandi Baker, that um, over this time of the year, we see a spike in fatalities, a spike. I'm not going to call them accidents because most yeah. accidents in this case can be prevented. But as the executive director of Child Safety, you obviously have a one wonderful view of what we can do as parents, as families, to strategize, to be conscious of child safety. So maybe that's the word I'm going to use now is how do we develop a strategy? What strategy should we have going into the festive season when it comes to child safety? Thank you. Um, it is a, it's a strategy that you can apply throughout the year. I think safety is not something that we specifically need to look at. At the, at the festive season. if I think if you continue to keep an eye on the child's environment, I think what, what we really need to remember is that we are the adults in these children's lives and it's our responsibility to take care of them. Now, if we take that responsibility and we apply that to our environment in general, where the child is, a child, you know, we, I have two boys, so I know what they can <laughs> they get up to. They will ferret out the thing they that you least want them it. to do. They will go straight to it. Exactly. They will <laughs> find it. And, and, and they, they, they do take um, quite a bit out of you to, to sort of keep the environment safe. <laughs> but the important thing is to look and see what could be potentially risk factors for them. And you won't get all of them all the time. But the really, really big one, the water, the burns, the, the, to, to make sure that they are not able to just run out into the road, into busy streets where they could be knocked over. Um, keeping all the, the medical supplies, the cleaning supplies, all of that, keeping it out of reach, making uh -huh. sure that your home is a safe place. And we all have different homes in all shapes and sizes, but you as a parent would be able to see that this is and do it safe, once. And that's it comprehensively and you're sort of would you you're recommend sorted. going for a first aid course or something like that I would I would I would recommend coming to child safe we do provide a pediatric uh, first aid course that we work with another organization on so we can actually work with parents to help them um, assess their homes to see whether the home is safe or not and see where they need to make the small adjustments uh, and then provide a first aid course so the, the important thing to remember is to be able to, once you have a safe environment, something does happen, you want to be able to respond quickly. Just kick in, yeah. It, a burn, for instance, you can make the world of difference if a child burns, if you, as a parent, stay calm and you're able to, to do what needs to be done. To, you, you know what needs to be applied, how it needs to be managed. It makes all the difference. So those two things, the two strategies that you had referred to, Make sure that your home environment is safe and outside of the home also you have all those other things in place. And then secondly, know how to respond in, in the case of an emergency. Yeah. And it's yeah. a difficult thing to say, stay calm, but you have the opportunity in that moment because the adrenaline kicks in and actually yes. elevates your performance as a parent, exactly. if that's the right way to explain it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> with the minute that we have left, maybe you can leave us with a few tips. What are the most important things you'd like to leave with our viewers? Those three tips that I had mentioned earlier on. Oh, I actually make it four now to add the strategies, the strategies that we just discussed. Look at your home environment. Make sure that it is, it is relatively safe, as safe as, it's, as, it can as it can be. Make sure that you attend a pediatric first aid course, that you know what to look for. Reduce your speed. Make sure, and I'm speaking to not only caregivers. I love the way parents. you look at the camera. You, you, I'm speaking to you I'm right speaking now. I'm speaking to everyone now. 
um, <laughs> to all drivers. And then thirdly, um, yeah, thirdly, to make sure that the child is strapped in. Okay. Look out for pedestrians. Please look out for pedestrians, especially the little ones that you can't easily see over the, the wood of your car. And I'll add to that, just to reiterate, one of the points that seems to have come up a lot is just always keep an eye on your child. Oh, yes. I know it, it should be instinct as a parent, mm. um, but we get very distracted ourselves. Yes. There's a lot going on. We want to relax as well. Um, but the most important uh, thing, you know, part of this entire conversation is that it's in your hands. You can take control of the situation, remain vigilant, and keep an eye on your child. Yelandi, thank you so much. Have a wonderful and much. safe festive season, and you as well. Thank you.